Hello, boys and girls, members of the vinyl community. Tony P coming at you from the basement, La Casa de Perla, the Hacienda, the neighborhood vinyl guy, <laughs> if you will. And eh, not really, I just the guy hangs out. Uh, been a while, been a couple weeks since my last video. Fought, fought the flu, was getting a little bit better. Sort of a little bit of a relapse. I feel a little bit tired, a little bit weak, you know. Had to get my, my mojo working again. So finally, I'm getting around to it. I'm getting around to it. Uh, video today is about my travels to the CD warehouse. Now, I don't go to the CD warehouse too often. But the queen said to me, hey, I'll make you a deal. I want to go to, I think the store is Marshall's. I want to go to Marshall's. And if we go to Marshall's, you can take the car and go to CD Warehouse and then just come back and pick me up. I'd be a fool not to do that. So, off we went. We even had lunch out, so it was it was a good day all the way around. Found a couple things. CD Warehouse, like I said, I don't go there often because they're not really in my, my line of sight, so to speak. Uh, nice store, a lot of stuff. Uh... Vinyl is mostly new, but they did have a couple of things intertwined that was uh, used that caught my eye. Um, a lot of, lot of albums that were new were reissues, of course. Uh, a couple new things, I guess, made by, by artists. But uh, things that caught my eye, again, I'm a thrifter. I try to save a buck here and there. I don't spend a lot of money. I try not to anyway. But CD Warehouse had this sale on it. and I think it's a, it's an ongoing sale where if you buy three used items, you get the fourth one free. And of course, um, uh, it's the lowest priced one that you get free. Okay. So picked up a couple things, got a replacement for, for another album. The first one I got was Steven Stills 2. Now, this kind of bugs me a little bit. This is where they put their sticker for the price. And I've been working on it. And I'm trying not to ruin the album cover. But, hey, $2.99. I guess 3 bucks is the new dollar bin, I guess. I don't know. But, hey, the vinyl was good. The vinyl's good on it. Uh, this, of course, Steven Stills. This is his second album. I think uh, even uh, Jerry Garcia plays Steel Pedal on one of these. Henry Diltz. Diltz? Diltz? Diltz is the uh, photographer. Uh, on the cover, this is, of course, a uh, gatefold. Uh, it's in decent shape. I, I'll give it a, a, a maybe a VG. The album, the album, of course, I think I think it's a VG plus is the album. I wouldn't have gotten if it was two ninety nine. Can't beat it. Okay, let's see what I get. Let me pull it. Let me pull the second one out here. The second one is Herman's Hermits. Now, I'm, I'm a Herman's Hermits fan. And you don't see him too often. Now, you probably do. Maybe in your area, you might see uh, uh, Herman's Hermits. Now, this is from their movie, Hold On. Uh, let me back it up a little bit. Again, you see how they put their sticker right on there? This was $2.99. The, the vinyl is very good. Uh, you know, can't beat it. I think they even... Well, this one needs a, a good damn cleaning, but I, and I shall do it. Uh, this is from their movie Hold On uh, with Shelley Fabray, Sue Ann Langdon, uh, Herbert Anderson. Um, they didn't write any of the songs on this. I think uh, a guy by the name of Kager, Kager and someone else. I don't know if it says it on here. Maybe it says it on the, on the album. Kager, uh, Kager, uh, uh, there's also a Sloan and Barry. Okay. Um, not too many, you know, great tunes on here. Although they do the one, Where Were You When I Needed You, uh, was a great tune. Uh, Shelly Fabray sings only one on here. Uh, it's Make Me Happy. But Mickey Most did the production, I think. I think he was also their agent. Yeah, Mickey Most. Herman's Hermits, two ninety nine. You know, I like I like Herman's Hermits. They're 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 friends. Okay, what's the next one? Oh, um, 
Rita Coolidge Greatest Hits. Now, this is her first. Let me get rid of the plastic thing here. Uh, this is her first uh, compilation, I think. And I'm, 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 a, I'm a, uh, a lover of a good voice. And I think Rita Coolidge has a fantastic voice. You know, she had a, a friendship with Chris Christopherson. I think they had a, a daughter. Uh, he was not extremely nice to her, uh, abusive, as a matter of fact. But we always knew that he had he had certain demons. But uh, it's a great album, a good album. Uh, Born Under a Bad Sign, We're All Alone, Fool That I Am, Your Love Has Lifted Me Higher. That's probably one of her better known songs. Uh, I'd Rather Leave While I'm In Love, Only You Know and I Know. Bonnie Delaney tune, I think. Uh, Bonnie Delaney, thank you, I, Bonnie Delaney and uh, the other guy. Okay, but uh, this is, of course, previously released material on here. Um, Ry Cooter is on this. Uh, Jerry McGee. Uh, Booker T. Jones. Booker T. and the MGs. Uh, the Green, I think Green Onion and stuff like that. You know? So she had some good good guys on here backing her up. Backing her up. Good album. Rita Coolidge. Greatest Hits. Okay. Last but not least. Now this was uh, a album I got to replace the one I do have on my in my collection, it's a ZZ Top Eliminator. I'm sure everybody has this Eliminator. The, the bad thing about it was the one on my shelf, it's a promo copy, but it has a, a, a skip on it that it's on one of the opening tracks. I think it's on legs and it's just, it doesn't play through it. You have to move it or else play the second song or play after the skip and that just, Makes me nuts. So this was 10 bucks. And it's not a promotional one. Um, has the original inner sleeve. You know, the the Gibbons car there. The MTV, MTV made famous along with this album. I think they had four great hits on, off of this album. Eliminator, Give Me All Your Lovin'. A uh, sharp dressed man, legs, TV dinners, uh, but again, great album. You can't beat it. it came out in 1983. Uh, I did clean the vinyl looks immaculate, VG plus strong VG plus. You know, as 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 all the all of them are, even the even the Herman Herman ones. So you know, for what 16 bucks, I got four albums, roughly four bucks a piece. Then. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, maybe later on this week, I'm going to go to another venue, see what I can find. A place, a little flea market in the next county over. He has three prices on his albums, five, ten, and no, four prices, I'm sorry. Five, ten, fifteen, and twenty. And, you know, pays your money, you take your chance. But hey, that's not bad. We're going to clean them up, spin them up. I'm going to spend a little bit of Led Zeppelin while I'm cleaning them, though. Okay? Hey, I hope you like it. So hope you stick around. Uh, got another video coming up. If I have enough strength, maybe I'll do another video here coming up shortly. God bless you. May the force be with you. God love you. May all your records be flat. May your stylus run true. God bless you. God bless everyone. Please, let's have peace in our time.